What's up everybody? Today I want to show you a really cool app that I like to use with my electric unicycle. It's called Darkness Spot for the Apple iOS device and it has a really cool Apple iWatch companion app as well. So let's get right to it. All right guys, here we go with tip number one. First, start your Darkness Spot app and connect to your wheel. In my case, it's connecting to my Galway MSX. Okay, so this is the screen record one. It's right up here. Um, uh, full disclosure, this is a free app, but there's some paid features, which I did pay for the features. Uh, I like to support the developer, especially an app that I really, really like. And this is one that I really like. So I did, I did uh, unlock it. I figured uh, exactly how much it was. It was just a few bucks, but totally worth it. Anyway, right back to it. Up here on the top right, you're gonna see screen record. So you hit that and you're gonna get a couple options. You can allow the screen recording with or without the microphone. Um, so I'm going to do it with the microphone and we're going to go for a little ride over here, okay? Let's check this out. Alright guys, here we go. We're just going to run this little track over here and I'm going to show you how the screen recorder works. It's really cool. Um, it just overlays all the telemetry that you want. Um, it can get a little bit busy over here, but that's going to take us into tip number two where I'm going to show you how to move the tiles around and how to resize them so you can get the view that you want and it you know, just looks better so you can get these cool recordings with the microphone as well. So here we are with tip number two. I'm going to show you how to rearrange some of these tiles and get a cool view that you like. So it's very simple. All you do is click, hold, and just drag and then just drop it wherever you want. You can move these tiles in between pages. So let's, you know, that's page one, page two. So I grab from page two, uh, click, and I want to take it to page three and just drop it up here or something. So that's pretty cool. Um, another cool thing you can do with these tiles is you can see you have six. It's a two by three right now. So you can see six tiles. If you pinch in, you can get a little two by two. And now you can get some more pages down low and you can kind of customize this if you want to customize it even more. Um, if there's only one thing that's important to you, look at that. You could do a pinch it in one more time and now you could see only one telemetry bit of information that you want. This could be really cool if you want to make a video, if you want to do the screen record and you just want like your uh, speed so that you know you, you could see your speed going up as you're recording and uh, that could be a cool, cool little video to make. So pinch in, pinch in again to get back and there you go. For tip number three, I'm going to show you how to figure out how many miles you've ridden, even if you forgot to turn on the Darkness Bot app when you first started your ride. So I'd like to go to the total mileage. So this is the total mileage of your wheel. It's right here on the top left. So I'm going to hit that. And what I do is I take the little bar down on the bottom on the timeline where it moves at 10 minutes, 30 minutes, and I just move this. Move this to longer than what you've ridden. So if, let's say you were riding for 30 minutes and you're like, oh man, I forgot to turn on my app. Um, turn it on and it puts us to an hour. Uh, I like to sometimes just go for the day. So just put it on the day. Yesterday I was at 7.03, today I'm at 7.08. So until now, basically I've ridden five, you know, five miles. So that's just a cool little hack that you can use in case you forget to turn on your app and you want to figure out how many miles you've ridden. Darkness Bot also has a really cool offline mode feature. As you can see here, it can't connect to my wheel because my wheel is powered off. So it's just sitting there searching and idle. But what you can do is click on that little icon on the top left that looks like a couple stacked hockey pucks and that's going to bring you to offline mode. Over here, you can see all your connections. I'm going to view my one and only wheel and there you go. Now you can see all your stats. For this next tip, we're going to use Siri shortcuts to interact with the EUC. So first, let's set up the different functionals that are available to us by going into settings and clicking on integration and Siri shortcuts. Here, you'll see the five that we have to work with. I'm only going to set up the three that I personally like to use and they are battery. So when I say remaining battery, it should give me my battery percentage. And then I also like to use the single mileage, single mileage and beep. And just like that, you've added the Siri shortcuts. So now let's go use them. Beep. Okay, done. See, there's a little bit of a delay, but it's still pretty cool. Remaining battery. Okay, viewing 61.11111111112422%. 
Single mileage. Okay. Viewing 85.3 kilometers. And now you can also do all the same functionality with the Apple Watch. One of my favorite features of the Apple Watch is to be able to get Siri to turn on just by raising your wrist. If you don't have it set up that way, you can go into your watch app, go under Siri, and just make sure the race to speak is checked. So now with Siri enabled on my watch like that, all I have to do is just raise my wrist and say what I want. Remaining battery. Takes a second. This one is a favorite of mine that I use daily and a feature found on the Darkness Bot Apple Watch companion app. On the app itself, you could swipe through and get information like speed, battery percentage, mileage information, and temperature. However, if you tap and long press on the screen, you can beep the horn or turn on and off your headlight. Both very useful features. For this tip, uh, I'm gonna show you how I wear my Apple Watch and why I do it. So this is the standard way that everybody wears their watch, crown on the top right, okay? So what, what I'm gonna do is I, I'm, I'm gonna take it off and I'm gonna take out this band and I'm just gonna swap the bands around, okay? This one goes on top, this one goes on bottom, okay? So now when I put it on, my watch is going to be upside down. Uh-oh, let me put in my password real quick and then I'm gonna show you what to do to fix it. So this is what it looks like now. It's upside down. So we're gonna go into the watch app. We're gonna scroll down until we find general. And we're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see watch orientation right here. And it's gonna say left wrist and it's gonna say digital crown on the right side. We're gonna pick digital crown on the left side, okay? So as soon as you pick that, it flips it over. So the reason I like to do this, um, it's actually more natural for me. I just reach over there and I could just touch everything I need. But also, it's for when I'm wearing my riding gloves. What I do is I'll just take this out and I just move it. Slide it down a little bit. And now when I put on my flat lance, okay, this comes here, and now this is slid over here more. So you see how this fits? This fits a lot better. So this is all the way down, and this fits right there, and I don't have to try to find a way to squeeze my finger back there to like hit the crown. The crown is right there. Everything is just that much faster, okay? So, I mean, it works for me. It might not work for you. I'll be honest, this, this is gonna take a little bit of adjusting. It took me about a day, two days to kind of get used to the crown being there. But once you get used to it, it actually feels really good. Okay. So, hey, there we are. Cool. Well, thank you. I guess we'll just do the video sign off right here. This is pretty awesome. Um, thanks for watching. Hope you like it. Uh, leave a comment, subscribe. You know what to do. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.